Um, in the first half of the film, I'm working in this area here around Braids on the north part of the island, looking at the ridge and the tops of the ridges in this zone and down uh, and the, uh, what, what I think is called upper braids and then lower braids. Just getting a real sense of, of, of you know, the sort of patches of land uh, dug out um, in, in the hills. Farmers doing the best they can to create these little blocks here. But actually, you know, it's a quite, quite a challenge really uh, to do that. Yeah, so rain fed irrigation here uh, on this, 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 this piece of ground which has been prepared for carrots. Um, does, it, does it get dry? Does it, do you think water limits it here? I get that sense it does, doesn't it? Pump and then pump up here and store the water here so that you can use. Uh, okay, so we're going to bring, bring water up, bring some tank supplies and, and, and bring water in. You're working good for you. Hello, you're working good for you. <laughs> <laughs> so Melvin, so would the, the water, would that be a kind of uh, usual that the farmer would bring the water in or would it be um, more, is it, is it quite of a new thing now that the irrigation's happening, that the water's coming in? Actually the dams have been in since we opened up up here. Right, to okay. The landowner. Yeah, yeah. So for good years, longer than I've been in um, the ministry and that's yeah. about what, 17 years now. Yeah. Okay. So they've been in for a while. So yep. Right now, what we're doing, we are revisiting them to see what we are. We actually did some work on some other ones. Okay. To see um, if they need cleaning, maintenance, yeah. and so forth. So that's what we we're actually doing yeah. last year. So this really again captures the the scale of the topography and the challenges of this kind of patchwork of little bits of land that are being you know used by the farmers. The one of the volcanoes, the old volcanoes there. And uh, the challenge is really of just trying to you know, get patches of agricultural land for, for the island. But you can see, you know, there's, there's definitely some successes of zooming in over here. But, you know, the sense of challenge, getting to the slopes, the slopes themselves. I don't know, I don't think the colleagues here know the condition of the nutrients of the soil. And they're bringing in water. I can see some, some supplies there. It's nothing, we just plant. Whatever we get, we get. Yeah. yeah. So what what Elvis has just told me is that for over twenty years they've been planting, but you know, in his own words, what they get, they get. Right. They don't know the condition of the soil. Is that right, Elvis? Right, right. Yeah. So and we, so we know we see certain problems. We say, give them a little nitrogen. Give them this based on the plants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you think that would be really helpful, wouldn't right, it, right. to be a bit more targeted about where we could put some nutrients in? Because if you get right, the right, right. the fertilizer, the nutrient planning right, you can get perhaps a bit more, pr more yield. production. Yes. Yeah. So what I'm picking up from this discussion is that they the plant and they don't use it, they don't get it, the crop don't come with it. Oh, they get that, they see that? Yeah, they yeah. see that. Right, right, right. Okay, so what I'm picking up is that the, the farmers do use MPK fertilizer, yeah. but they don't have any uh, kind of testing to know how much so to use. So much or yeah, so they just put it on. Yeah, very heavy soil. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it gets very sticky when it's wet. So what I'm getting, I'm hearing from the, talking to the guys here is that um, this soil down in the bottom here is naturally higher, perhaps a bit, a bit heavier, more clay than the soil that we, we had up on the top. And the thinking is that that just reflects the history of erosion from the top and that we get more fine material washed down here. But um, Melvin's always also been telling me about um, that, that they believe he believes that the way that the land is managed also um, uh, reflects the condition and that this one's been improved over the years although it's a really heavy it's going in the right direction it um, he feels and that's because often it's actually cultivated by hand is that right yeah and and that whereas a tractor turns more soil over and brings more heavy clay material up from down below and there's a lot of organic matter there if, if the tractor cultivates yeah okay cool yeah thank you the same farmer right. so this area it looks like you rest in this area for now okay you know what i mean you look at the hill full of his sweet potato uh-huh you can see this resting here for now and train a different area you know? okay so this has been sweet potato right, right. yeah mm -hmm. okay okay so some bananas here yeah lovely and uh, some root crops here. This is, is say again? Dashing or taro roots. Oh, okay. What's this pipe? Is this for a bit of irrigation? Yes, yes. Okay. 
pump water from the dam. Yeah. And it comes through this pipe and go down to the next part we below down there. Oh, so that's cool. You're doing that. That's, that's cool. We can pump water up the hill. You know, no. Here we get water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so we've come down the hill now, about a kilometre or so, about a mile. And you say generally it isn't as good down here? No. In this instance, plenty of wind. Rapid wind. So have that rapid wind. So up up the comes up off the coast. Yep. Yeah. So it dries it all out. And a lot of the rain doesn't fall here, but it falls further over. So same farm a bit over there as well. Irish potato over there. Up on the hill. But generally poor quality. You can see that it's like the top speed eroded off. Yeah. Does anybody know how much fertiliser is being used or is it just kind of buy it and put it on? Well, he buys it and put it on. So what, as you can see, some of them apply here. With him, what he does, I used to work with him when I was out in the field. Yeah. He, got, he try and apply it when it's, yeah. when it's dry. Yeah, yeah. So if you talk to him, he tell him to try and apply it when it's dry. Yeah, yeah. So that you kind of, of have course. That, that micro thing. Yeah. The rain comes. It's ready. It's ready. It's just yeah. See if any plant will put it. But it's, there's not as much organic matter in this soil, I don't think, as there was up at the top. No. no. So what they're telling me is that when it rains here, it rains, it really rains, and it carries... You know, it just takes everything down the gullies and basically they're saying straight out to sea. So I'm getting a picture of actually a lot more connection from the agriculture to the sea than, than, than I was expecting, um, which, is, which is interesting. And you can see, you know, it's quite impoverished here over years. The organic matter has diminished here. And you can see, you know, you can get a sense of all the surface fine materials being washed away. And you can see where it's broken through some of the... the uh, the, the, the ridges and, and the furrows here as well. So we've got some really eroded soil here, look, really messed up. Uh, yeah, and there's also some sheep here in this little paddock. And we've got some... Uh, pumpkins. Yeah, big pumpkins. Mm -hmm. Sorrel. Oh, yeah, please, I like to see that big one over there. You can take down. <laughs> so this land's managed by tractor. And the guys <coughs> pointed out that the stones have become um, exposed, showing the erosion. There's also the goats here as well, so it's a struggle. Okay, I'm in the valley right now. Yeah. While the soil coming down. From up there. The whole road. Down to the road mm -hmm. and down towards. Yeah, down and ultimately to the to the ocean. To the sea. You can see here where the trees are being cleared and um, logs piled up at the side where they've been making space. So over there it's been tractor, tractor. Mm -hmm. cultivated and then over here it's more by hand. By hand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the view is that really the, the tractor makes things a lot worse. Um, this area, you know, is more easily eroded. It's very stony, goats here. Yeah, but there you can see the sea down there. Oh, me about that. Sweet potatoes. So probably pumpkin that's been in here, uh, but look at the amount of stones just across the road from the onions. Totally rain fed, no irrigation here. This is stony soil, it's actually quite quite productive. Good, good, it's been, yeah, there's been a lot of fertilizer in the past, but probably don't know how much though, no numbers. And it's quite productive now, these good, good onions, but it's quite rocky soil. Onions that come up the ground, they don't go down. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. For the next farm, we actually left the braids area here and we went down over to the east side of the island here to, to the boundary with the exclusion zone to the area which I think was called Trans. So that, there's the volcano steaming, and then looking down, there's a big lava field, ash field there from the, the eruption all running down to the sea. Steaming away. So what's this place called then, Elvis? Dungi called Trance. Say that again? Trance, Trance. How do you spell that? T-R-A-N-S, boy. That's what Trance, boy. T-R-A-N-S. T-R-A-N-T. Okay, and we're right over on the, just on the fringe of the exclusion zone with the ash field down here. And so this, this is just one farmer, one farmer who's making the, the best of this bit of country here. Mm. Completely rain fed, but there's a little bit of a dam up there. So what's going on? What's the so it's looks the potato, we got bell peppers ready for you. Yeah. Lettuce, the white cabbage, mm -hmm. carrots, onions. Yeah. Everything. Tomatoes. Yeah. Eggplant. Eggplant. Yeah. And, 
Yeah, I mean, it seems to be quite doing quite well in a way. I mean, about about the potential for future development with this land. I mean, they do okay, do they? Look at this side out here is nice. In my book, I find it's nicer than Blake's. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice yeah. tilt. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of a bit, there's a bit more of a balanced texture. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. In this latter half of the film, I'm focusing around Salem, the Salem area, particularly this area that's called Duck Pond. Here we are now, we're at the Duck Pond area, Elvis. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about the context of what, what we're going to see this morning? And this is Duck Pond. And here, this is the main pond area. So from here, we pump water from here, go down to the different farms then. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. As you can see right now, not much farming is going on in this area. Here we've got plenty of grass as well. So like the farmers who come and cut grass. So you just cut and carry grass. Okay. Right? Just below there, we have a little fowl farm. Yeah. For Dr. Maloney. Yeah. And then, but but the, most of the farms is back down. Down the hill. Down the hill. So we'll pick them up. So you pump water and go down. Uh, so this is why the, the reservoir is above here. Right, right. Yeah. So Elvis, we're, we're walking along the duck pond area and what I've picked up from discussion with you is that, um, is that actually this, this is really more about potential for development yes. than it is about, about you know, improving what you already have. For right. example, you just said we're walking through what used to, to be, be a banana, a banana farm. farm. All here was bananas and plantings. Okay. Right. Yeah. All right now it's just abandoned. It's abandoned. Mm -hmm. it's grass and trees. Abandoned what? Because of the volcano times? No, 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 no. Volcano have nothing to do here. Because the people still farm on the lower parts. Uh huh. You know? But I guess most of the farmers then die out as well. Right. right? Most yeah. of the Olaf farmers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Mostly animal farmers come here, yeah. cut grass, and carry for the animals. And what do, we, what do you think then could happen here to him? What's the opportunity, in your opinion? I guess once we know what the soil having here, you know what I mean? Yeah. We could say, well, we could put this part for citrus yeah. or avocado, you know, do yeah. orchards. During the hurricane season, flatten them. Yes. Mm. Because if you saw Dominica after Maria, you'd have understand why it is important to have resistant greenhouses. Yeah. The farmers, the farms and them work down. Mm. What crops are was available is root crop. Because they have the roots in the yeah, ground yeah, yeah. so the hurricane could not affect that yeah. so that's why we could still export during maria mm. we exported sweet potatoes and we exported dashing mm. making sure that all the, the farms bananas. are fully irrigated simple as that you know what yes. i mean so picking up from the discussions with Benita and elvis that uh, previously elvis was citing 18 years ago when he started in the agricultural service that this area of duck pond could have anecdotally fed the whole of Montserrat and um, that the farmers have slowly died out and left and you know it sort of strikes me there's a huge opportunity here in Duck Pond to reinvigorate somehow uh, you know farm in, um, farm investment and action in the, this part of the island. I want you here. Right. It used to be a road to here a big drive to. Right? So when the heavy equipment come in the excavator you can shoot through here. But it's, it's again, it's dwindled. No, it's still there, but the farmers are not using it as much. No. So the water is still there and get murky and green yeah. and different colors. Right. right. Okay. Sometimes they don't want to use it because it's very dirty. Yeah. Right. They prefer the, the, the pipe water itself. Oh, the water is? Mm -hmm. Why is it dirty? Because it's a pond, it's not being used uh, okay. for stagnant, years, stagnant, yeah. right? Okay. So, yeah, so it's all about safe using capacity, it. keeping it going. Exactly. Yeah. In the next part of the film, we're focusing around this part here, around the Bellum River, this area of drainage which drains from the Soufriere Hills, the volcano, and this basin here, and looking at the, the agricultural soils around here. We're now at the farm waterworks, owned by Brian, what's his last name again? Brian Hollander. Brian Hollander. And this is their old sugar sugar mill from the sugar caning. You can see the volcano in the background, it's fantastic. So when we were talking to Brian, he was talking about the idea that actually, a very good idea that's being muted amongst the extension guys too, is that you know some of the land inside the inclusion zone could really be viably used for agriculture in a relatively safe way. Um, 
and this land here is called Lees on the slope of the volcano and this land Lees uh, is really really looks very lush it looks perfect you know so there's opportunities to think more strategically about volcano exclusion zone and how it can be used safely perhaps bit of land here on waterworks that's leased out to some good onion production with the volcano in the background the volcano and the farming here in the foreground amazing so the team have brought me to cork hill cork hills down the other side of the bellum river to the um, south of the bellum river and um, under the volcano and this patch of ground here previously was used for limes after the volcano and um, at the moment there's nothing much going on but it looks like it's potentially good ground it does it looks a bit inactive and um you know good ground and there's also going to be a dam going in too so you know great potential but for some reason not being used so we're down I can see the volcano observed trip there and here they're planting Irish, um, Irish potatoes or presumably white potatoes and sweet potatoes ash soil best view yet of the volcano down there's some sand mining and there's a, they actually do collect sand from within the exclusion zone and it gets taken out to sea at the sand port there the town of Plymouth here in the foreground abandoned I think it is that maybe some agriculture can start to get going there now amazing then there's the other hills, Montserrat Observatory, there, that's the Volcano Observatory, Garibaldi Hill, and then round there, yeah. wow, 